Hello, Pisces singles. This is Sasha Intuitive, and I am here to do a love reading for you all. But this is a little different. We're just going to see um, how you feel about love, what you're um, wanting out of love, what advice spirit has for you, those type of things. Um, so if you're single, you're looking for love, trying to get a better understanding of, you know, your thought processes around love. Um, I hope that these messages help you to um, move accordingly. All right. So Pisces, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. This is a new channel and it definitely helps the channel grow. And I'm great. I greatly appreciate every single subscription that I've gotten over the past couple weeks has been extremely helpful and helping um, the channel grow. And you guys have no idea um, how much I appreciate it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So how do you feel, Pisces, about love? How does Pisces feel about love? Let's see. How does Pisces feel about love? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Pisces. Um, so you're you're feeling like you, you want love. You want to um, start something new. Um, you're ready to start something new, potentially... Um, you're feeling very kind of like fired up when it comes to to love and uh, relationships, but it's I see two things here. So on one hand, it's like I I I kind of want love because you got a page here, so it's like I kind of want love, and you're kind of in between. But then you go to a queen, like oh yeah yeah I do, but wait maybe I don't. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like that type of energy and then trying to juggle um, if you what you want out of love. For some of you, when it comes to love, you're deciding that you're going to juggle more than one person and be a player. That's just what I'm seeing. And that's what I'm feeling for. Um, how do you feel about love? Um, some of you are just going to decide to to juggle multiple people. Sorry. <laughs> that's what I feel but for others you may be trying to find a balance between love and work and um and your finances um so it's like yeah I want love but I may be trying to find um maybe trying to figure out how to juggle having um stability and abundance in my life and having a loving partner so I'm not sure if I want to have a partner or if I want to focus more on love. So just trying to figure out any kind of balance between that. But again, like for a small amount of you or if you're cross watching, maybe a person that's a Pisces that you are dealing with may decide to juggle right now. And so maybe they don't have any real feelings of like love, love. They just might want to just juggle. So take it as it resonates if you're a cross watcher or it could be you. It doesn't matter. Uh, what happened in the past? So for Pisces singles, what happened in the past? What has happened in the past? Pisces. What has happened in the past in love for Pisces? You're giving me a lot, a lot of cards here. All right. What has happened in the past for Pisces? So could it could have been uh, Pisces? You always give me a hard time. Um, in the past, it could have been like you know, third parties could have happened. Um, some infidelities could have happened in the past. Uh, Jesus Christ, yes. <laughs> Pisces, why you do this to me? Oh my God. So in the past. You could have had there. You could have dealt with third parties. You got two, three cards that came out. Um, so there could have been some heartache. There could have been some loss. Um, in the past, whatever this situation, you may have thought something was the your end all be all. It was not. It put you in a um, situation where you had to heal, recover, rest from it um, because it left you basically alone it left you heartbroken it left you at some type of loss um when it came to love for some of you again it could have just it could have been third parties juggling and that's what caused you to um to be single if you will 
Uh, what is your best asset in love and relationships, Pisces? Your best asset in love and relationships. What is your best asset? What is Pisces' best asset when it comes to love and relationships, please? You, you have the ability to stand your ground. Um, it could be because when it comes to situations of like competition or um, if someone was being, some infidelity was happening, you have the ability to stand your ground. Um, you also, so this goes two ways. So you, you typically remember things from the past you internalize on things from the past. And um, so one of your assets is like using the stuff that you learned in the past as a way to stand your ground when it comes to maybe people who are trying to to um, be dishonest with you. But you have, have this way of, um, this way about you of like, protecting yourself if you need to and that actually is an asset um for you it's coming up as an asset for you being that you know how to protect yourself um with situations love whatever it is you you are you are versed in doing that so let's see what is it that you think you want out of love what does pisces want out of love what do they think they want out of love What does Pisces think they want out of love? Some of you are wanting to just withdraw from love, period. Um, not wanting to even go further. Um, some of you are wanting to just like, um, you know, just, yeah, just seeking your, your inner balance, trying to figure out, um, you're, you're wanting to kind of stay, take a step back, um, for some of you, for love, there's a lot of... I think I got all the three cards here, honestly. <laughs> um, so, you, some of you are just really going to decide to um, not really focus on love too much. Um, and focus on work as well. Um, some of you might be, be wanting a rebirth with someone from the past that you feel like you'll have success with. Um, you're wanting a renewal of someone from the, from the past. So, you know, it, it, it depends, it depends on what your story is, but some of you are wanting to go back to someone from the past. What is it that you actually need in love? So let's see what spirit is saying that you need right now, Pisces. Okay, take them all, taking them all. Okay, <laughs> Pisces, you need a lot. So first of all, you're needing um, to stop mourning the past stuff. You're needing to get out of your head when it comes to past love situations. You're also needing to stop juggling so many, like, it looks like some of you are running from your part problems um, be of, like, you're afraid to move forward from things that have happened in the past, so you're deciding to just juggle. And um, Spirit is saying what you need to do is get out of that mindset because what happened in the past was in the past. And you are, like, literally trying to manifest these same type of things back into your future. You need balance. That's what Spirit is saying, that you need balance. You need to have more self-control. Um when it comes to love and relationships. So if you are a player or if you're cross watching, trying to see what someone else is feeling like in love, they could just be, be in a, in some player energy right now. Um, but spirit is really saying you need to stop living in the past, get out of your head. You're not seeing the blessings that are coming towards you because it looks like the divine has been trying to send you blessings, Pisces, Pisces, and you're not seeing them. Because you're focused so much on what is happening in the past and you're lacking self-control and you're thinking that you're going to be victorious in the end, but that's not what's going to happen. 
But, but the only way that you're going to move forward, the, the divine is trying to tell you, stop juggling, balance out your life, practice some self-control, and then you are going to be victorious. Whew. Okay, Pisces. <laughs> what is your challenge in love? It looks like we've, we've uh, discussed some of that already. Your challenge is not, is keeping things at a stalemate all the time or majority of the time. That is what your challenge is right now. Um, you have a tendency to act distant. You have a tendency to not put your time and effort into um, past situations and um, into like, or not past, but into cer certain situations or even situations around love. So you are at a stalemate um, because you tend to act difficult and um, act distant when it comes to... Um, love so that is a challenge you are not opening up your heart so maybe you want love but you're so afraid you're not open up your opening up your heart so you continue to be distant and feel, feel like it's easier for you just to kind of juggle people around that's that's what i get what action do you need to take in love please for pisces actions that pisces need to take in love Actions that Pisces need to take in love, please. Some of you, um, if you're in, if you're into church, some of you need to go to church. Um, but others of you really need to think about um, what type of foundation you want. And some of you need to take action as far as like opening up, putting your emotions out there, having more of a like more emotional energy, being open about your emotions. But um, some of you may need to consult counsel um, because maybe these the there are some deep rooted um, things that are causing you to um, behave or the person that you're dealing with to behave in the way that they are behaving. Um, so some of you may need to sleep counseling or something. Um, but it's also saying that you need to decide what type, what do you want out of love? Really clearly put those um, intentions out out there. You also need to, to go in a different direction of how you're going right now, how you're proceeding when it comes to love and relationships um because if you change your direction um you're going to get more victory and success in the end if you do that so just just be be mindful of that so are there any potential lovers coming in the near future for pisces potential lovers coming for pisces Potential lover is coming for Pisces. There's potential money coming for you, but yeah, there could be potential lovers coming um, for you once you um, once you really kind of. There's gonna be some karma that you have to clear out, um, and you need to take accountability. Some of you for your actions, or if you're cross watching, this person needs to take accountability for their actions. Um, so while, yeah, there could be some, um, potentials coming in the near future, uh, some of, some of you are going to decide to just focus on money. Some of you are going to decide to, um, yeah, focus on money. Some of you are going to decide to just, um, not think about love that much, but you might decide to, to focus on your stability, which may be a good thing because it seems like once you focus on your stability, then, you, then you'll get a partnership because I think you'll feel more in a place that you can have a partnership um, and you'll have balance in your life enough um, because right now you're dealing with delays between your old old ways and new ways. Like you're like kind of like in between. So that's why you're you're delayed in that process but yeah you definitely could get some new love but i feel like the advice really is to um focus on on your uh your your finances and career um 
that's 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 basically what came out. I don't know if you saw me shuffling. I fell right out. Um, focus on your finances and career. Um, stop wearing a false self mask for some of you who are trying to like you know not really be the person that um you really are because Pisces are very um emotional but have a tendency sometimes to kind of like just not deal with things like living in like a really dreamy dream type of um world in their head. Um, and that's no shade, Pisces. It's just, you know, real um, having a tendency to kind of like live in the head or whatever. But you guys just read and became my longest one. I thought it was Aquarius, but I guess you have more to have more to know. Know that love is um, worth waiting for. So there's some divine things happening. Uh, maybe that's why you're you're being you're literally being asked to just like stop it. That's all I can say. Just stop it. Um, um, because there's a potential for some, for a, um, higher level of commitment, a wedding or something, um, that could come to you from a soulmate. There is potential for this to happen, but you got, some of you are not making an effort. If you're watching this cross watching, you're not making an effort or someone that you need to know that you deserve love. And I think that's what's happening here, um, that you are not feeling that. Um, because you did get a couple marriage cards here. So some of you are desiring that, but you're hiding it based on things that happened in the past for you. So that is what I have for you, Pisces. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Um, I will see you all soon. Stay safe.